Alrighty, I have some breaking news about Wild Beasts that I'm going to share with you guys today, but let's get started and talk about something significantly important. And that is Wild Beasts' current state of comfortness. And I want to hear from you guys down below in the comment section. Have you ridden Wild Beasts this season? And what are your thoughts? Because I, I truthfully understand why um, something is about to happen. Uh, I personally find Wild Beast to be the most uncomfortable it's ever been um, riding it, especially after the turnaround after the drop. That little section before the fan curve, I'm like trying to survive. Like if I'm riding with a friend, I'm bracing myself. Um, I'm, tr I'm just trying to prevent myself from hurting them and hurting myself. It's just a horrible ride all together. Now, with that being said, comment down below your opinions and let's get right into it. So, Wild Beast is essentially a clone of a ride over at King's Dominion. Um, for those of you that don't know, and I know that a lot of people watching my channel might not know, uh, there's a ride called Grizzly at King's Dominion. It's an essentially an exact clone of Wild Beast, and it went under some serious refurbishment and renovations by a company called Gravity Group during the off-season leading into this year. I've heard grave reviews of this renovation and refurbishment, and um, truthfully, I think the wood rides at Wonderland could use that exact treatment. And that is essentially what could possibly be about to happen to Wild Beast. So, a little tip, if you go ride Wild Beast and walk around the area of Wild Beast, you're going to start to see some survey markings. There are different types of survey markings, and I've become very fluent in the types of survey markings that are going on in the amusement industry. Well, for those that watch my channel, more specifically, Canada's Wonderland. There's a uh, height elevation uh, survey markings, there's distance markings, there's um, reflection markings, uh, a, a bunch, I don't even have, there's more than that. But specifically on the footings of Wild Beast, there are elevation markings. And essentially when you see an elevation marking, especially on an existing structure, you can assume that that structure is meant to stay. So the fact that Wild Beast is Wild Beast's uh, footings have these elevation markings on them. It's telling you that they're creating a 3D, 3D world around Wild Beast and of Wild Beast and its footings, which is very telling. Essentially, what you could predict is Wild Beast is going to be refurbished in an extensive manner by a most likely a third-party company. So what could that mean? Well, yes, uh, for those of you that are really jumping the gun right now, RMC could be a potential... Um, company that could be coming in to, you know, upgrade Wild Beast. Um, it could be GCI, and also it could be Gravity Group. I think with recent events occurring, especially over at Grizzly at King's Dominion, one would assume that it's going to end up being a Gravity Group renovation and refurbishment of Wild Beast. Uh, I know that Wonderland in the past has confirmed and stated at an ACE event that they would not convert an existing wood attraction into an RMC and that they would build ground up. So one would take that as fact and that Wonderland isn't considering an RMC of Wild Beast. Things do change. Again, uh, Cedar Fair could step in and make a decision overruling uh, the higher management of Canada's Wonderland um, or opinions change over time. But I think with what just opened this season and it getting grave reviews and it actually improving the ride greatly, I could see Wonderland upper management and Cedar Fair wanting this at Canada's Wonderland as well. And with the survey markings appearing now, and the conversion seamlessly taking place, it would almost be so easy for them to copy and paste what they just did in a much shorter time frame, including the 3D world mapping, um, that honestly, 2024 is still possible that this could be for 2024 at Canada's Wonderland. So we'll have to see. Um, no one really knows. You can't really predict a year. Again, 3D mapping usually takes place years in advance for new projects when you have to design it. But the fact that Gravity Group already knows essentially what they would do because it was a clone, um, it would be a lot easier for them to just create a 3D world and copy and paste and then um, construction would start this off season. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, but definitely a, a huge um, sign that uh, Wild Beast is being considered for the Gravity Group treatment. Um, so I'm definitely really excited. If you look here, they increased the steepness of the drop 
um, and made it a lot smoother. For so, so for those of you that love Wild Beasts, this would be nothing but an improvement on the ride. So I'm really excited. I think this ride needs it. And hey, while you're at it, can you do Mindbuster? Because that ride is also needing some TLC. And I, you know, a, a steeper drop on Mindbuster would be really awesome. But yeah, nonetheless, uh, had to come out and drop this news. If you ride the ride, look specifically at the footings at the drop where you would need to create um, a 3D mapping of, because that is where they're changing the elevation, uh, like they did at Grizzly. So uh, there are orange survey markings all over the footings there. So just a little tidbit if you wanted to go check out for yourself. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed my thoughts and opinions and uh, observations on Wild Beast, and hopefully it's for the 2024 season. Have a good one, guys. Bye.